Hi everyone. This is a quick screencast to go over importing and exporting site definitions. This is going to be a help for those of you that are perhaps moving from computer to computer in the lab or within the classroom. And I know that every time you go to a brand new computer, you have to set up your site definitions each and every time. So this will be a nice, quick and easy way around that. This is also in your book in chapter seven. It is lesson five in chapter seven and the page is seven 32. It's about four pages long. So within Dreamweaver, I'm going to go to site and I'm going to say manage sites. You can see I have Caroline's creations and trip smart set up. You'll probably also have striped umbrella set up and perhaps even the blooms if you are choosing to work on that as well. I'm going to just click on the pencil, the edit button, just to show you that I do have everything set up in here. I have not only my site name, but I do have, of course, the pathway to my local root folder. In my case, it's on my desktop, but for you, many of you, it'll probably be on an external drive or a flash drive. Under advanced settings, you can see same thing. I have a, a pathway set up to the default images folder, which is the assets folder. And under servers, I do have the student server information already set up. I'll click on the pencil again to show you that I do have this set up with the FTP address, username, password, and of course the pathway to the root directory file. I'm gonna hit test just to make sure. And it tells me it can connect successfully. I say, okay, save it, save it. So wonderful. I'm done working in the lab. I decide I really wanna be able to save this definition because I've spent so much time making sure that it connects correctly. Well, just down over from the uh, edit button is the export site button. And it does say export the currently selected site, which in this case is my Caroline's creations. I'll click on the button and we're gonna get this pop-up window, which is exporting site. And again, Caroline's creations in this case. I wanna select the first of the two options, which is to back up all of my settings which does include my login, my password, and all the local pathways, because that's all the stuff that we struggle to set up, right? So we're gonna say, okay. And notice up here, it says save as, it gives it the name Caroline's Creations, and the file extension is .ste, which is essentially site, only there's, they didn't have four letters, so they dropped the I. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and save it in my Caroline's Creations folder, so I'm gonna click on it to select it, make sure it's highlighted, and I'm gonna hit save. Some of you on a PC, it may you may have to say select first. And I can do the exact same thing with TripSmart. Click on the little folder with the arrow, back up all of my settings. I'm gonna say okay. In this case, I wanna make sure I'm saving it in my TripSmart folder, and I'll hit save. Now, you'll hit done and you'll go on. I am gonna go in here and just to mimic what you'll be seeing, I'm actually gonna delete this. Oops, yes, I actually meant yes. Okay, so here's the empty window that you will see next time you go into a different computer in the lab, you'll have the empty manage sites button. You put in your flash drive and then you can say import site down here on the left. And it, sure enough, it says it wants to fi find an STE file, which is what we just created. If I say import site, I can go right over to my TripSmart folder, and there's my tripsmart.ste, and I can say open. I can do the exact same thing, whoops, wrong one. Import site, I'll go to my Caroline's Creations folder, and there's my Caroline's Creations.ste, and I'll say open. Again, on a PC, this may say select instead. And it sets everything up. Just to show you, I'm gonna click on the edit button to show you that, sure enough, it imports my pathway to that folder, which is why you don't wanna move it. My images folder, same thing, that's already set up. It's already linked to the assets folder. And best of all, under the servers, you can see the student server information came with it. If I click on the edit button, you can see that it did come with my username and password and the directory pathway. I'll hit test again, just to show you. Yes, it does work, yay. 
So hopefully this is something you guys can use and when you're moving back and forth between computers and get yourself set up and moving really quickly. Good luck.